And now for the new and improved Beagle on a bike. I've got two 260s, a gray and a black. And again, the gray would normally be white, but I'm doing the gray so you can see it better against the white background I have. The gray has about four inches uninflated. The black has maybe five. So we're gonna start with the gray. And again, just fold it over so that it's a little lighter than your hand. That's about a four or so it's bubble. And then twist the bubble about half, twist the back of it about halfway into that a little more. That'll be his head, of course. And we're gonna make about an inch to an inch and a half bubble for his arm. And a slightly longer bubble for the handlebars. Two of those. And then one more the same size as that for his other arm. And then lock those in the base of that long one. So there's his arms and his handle on the handlebars. Now you're gonna make a body. About a two and a half inch bubble. Make a pinch twist. Now we're going to take and make this part of his bike. What you do is make a bubble where it'll form a nice little triangle like that. We make a small bubble and cut a pinch twist. And we're going to take this one, tuck it up through there. And then bring it down around the bottom and lock it in the place. Just like that. Now we're going to make another bubble the same size as this one here. And this will be where the old one didn't get legs. This guy actually gets the back legs as well as front. So we're going to make two bubbles. Those are about an inch and nah, not quite two inches long. Lock them together. And then bring it up, and that also gives him a nice little tail. So this uh, beagle on a bicycle actually gets the tail back legs and everything where the other one did. I'm going to turn those two bubbles in the middle up and down like that, and then we'll pull his legs up over the bottom one so that they're up like that. So his legs are wrapping around. Now we're going to take our black 260. What you want to do is you're going to make about an inch and a half, two inch bubble. Make another bubble the same size. Oops, let's do that again. You gotta hang on to it a little bit. Another bubble the same size. You can let go of that back one, but want to keep this one because what we're gonna do is pop off this excess balloon, but keep it in place because we're just gonna use that for our wheels. First, we're gonna make his ears. So I'm gonna tie that, set that aside, tie this end. Now what I want to do is divide that back into those two bubbles that I had originally. Like that. Then I'm going to take, this is going to be his head, this long bubble sticking up. You're going to take where I just twisted those and lock that into the base of his head there. And then bring the two ends, where the knots are, and tie them together. Because this Snoopy, oh, excuse me, this Beagle, you can name your Beagle whatever you want. I actually get the black ears as well. There we go. So we've got that. Now we're going to take squeeze that so it's soft and just wrap that around and then tuck it into on the other side in between the ears just like that. Just wedge up in there nicely so it'll stay. So there's your beagle's head and you can see it's starting to take a little more shape now. Now we just need to make some wheels. Make sure this is a little soft. And we're going to take the nozzle end of the black that we have remaining we're going to start at the front here and twist it into that pinch twist there at the base of the handlebars. Now we're going to make a little small, about a, about a one inch bubble will work nicely. You don't want it too big. Another one inch bubble. And then lock that back into that pinch twist there. Just like that. Then we're going to take the black and wrap it around those two bubbles and then back into that pinch twist again to give it a front wheel. So wrap it around it. And then twist it back into the pinch twist. Now we're gonna pop off that, but remember to keep it in place because we still have a back wheel tonight. Front wheel. Sometimes it doesn't always want to get this right. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing back here for a back wheel. So 
So let's twist them in a pinch twist under his tail. Make your two little one inch bubbles. Lock that into the pinch twist as well. And then wrap it around the two bubbles there. And back into that pinch twist. Just like that. Any excess that you have, just pop off. We don't need any more. There we go. Secure that in. Tuck it up inside there, and we're just gonna straighten them up a little bit here. Pull his legs back up over that. Frame them a little farther. There we go. And the new and improved Beagle on a bicycle.